Okay, so I'm going to go over some global attributes in HTML. Um, attributes give elements meaning and context, and the global ones can be used on any HTML element. So we'll start with access key. This uh, specifies a shortcut key to activate or focus an element. And it, this one varies depending on what operating system you're using and which browser. And I'm doing um, Chrome on a Mac, so that will be Control-Alt access key. So here are the keys they're using. So if I do Control-Alt, Control-Alt-H, then it goes to that link. OK, so Control-Alt-C will go to the CSS link. So it's kind of an interesting global attribute. Um, next one. I'll do class, which specifies one or more class names for an element. And this is talking about um, classes in a style sheet. So, you know, class here, and then you can style it there. And you can also put this in an external sheet, of course. So this makes uh, the header blue and the paragraph green. Okay, so what else? Um, Let's see, content editable. This will specify whether the content of an element is editable or not. So this is kind of cool because this paragraph is editable, so you can you can change it. And it won't save. Um, you'd have to use local storage, but that's a whole different whole different thing. Um, okay. And let's see. Context menu. This specifies a context menu and um, appears when a user right clicks on the element, but it only works in uh, Firefox. So it's this one isn't really a good good one to use at the moment. So let's see, data, and then asterisk. Uh, this is used to store custom data, private to the page or application. So as an example. Um, Here's an unordered list with uh, different animal types, right? Bird, fish, spider. And there's some JavaScript up here. So it'll get the attribute um, data animal type. And then it will stick that in an alert when you click on the animal. So if I click on owl, let's say the owl is a bird because it um, captures that, that attributes value. OK. So. It, it lets you um, embed custom data attributes on all HTML elements. And it can be used in the pages JavaScript. It creates a more engaging user experience and uh, without you know accessing a database or anything. So it, the attribute name shouldn't contain any uppercase letters and, um, and it must be at least one char character long after the prefix data. OK. So. DIR, this specifies the text direction. So for example, um, RTL will be right to left, right? Write this text right to left. Um, okay. Draggable, this specifies whether an element is draggable or not. So this is a draggable paragraph. Uh, you can move it into the rectangle, supposedly. Or not. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe that doesn't work in Chrome. Hmm. Draggable. Dragging it? Oh, okay. So I didn't do it good enough. Drop zone specifies whether the dragged area is copied, moved, or linked when dropped. So that doesn't work in anything, so don't use that. Hidden specifies that an element is not yet or no longer relevant. So you won't see um, this paragraph because it's hidden. And that can be useful if you just want to test something and hide it and try another paragraph. Uh, ID is a bit like class, but it's for more. Um, uh, it, it's 
most used to point to a style on a style sheet. And with JavaScript, you can manipulate an a value, uh, a certain ID. So here's ID my header. And uh, when you, right now it's using some JavaScript. So if you click this button, it'll change the text. Um, let's see, lang, this specifies the language of an element. So this is French. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. It'll translate it, but no, it doesn't really translate. It just for classifying what language you're using. Okay. Mm, spell check. If you want to have the spell check on, so it is editable. Blah. So you can see it's highlighted. So it's spelled wrong. Um, how about this? See that's spelled wrong too. So, uh, you can see the spell check there. Um, style specifies an inline CSS style. So you can uh, add styles right here with this attribute. And tab index specifies the tabbing order of an element. So that looks like if you try navigating the links by using tab, it would st it starts at Google and then goes uh, W three schools then Microsoft because Google is one, and then W three schools then Microsoft. And title just gives more information about the element. So, like if you were to hover over with your mouse, then the title will show right there. And can be used like an abbreviation element. And last one is translate. So this specifies that some elements should be translated. But right now, not supported.